So we decide to make a third run. We swing around, come over, the same altitude, the same airspeed, and that's when I got hit. The plane suffered some damage, but I was the only crew member hit. Thank God. I said, it's has got to be someone, let it be me. We got 10 guys. I'll take the, the shot. Why did you feel that way? Why did you feel that way? Wouldn't it be normal to say, well, I want the other guy, not me? Well, that's what is normal to some people. Uh huh. My normal is what I did. Okay. Okay. Now, you were in the front of the plane. In the, the nose. very tip, as I showed you. The navigator, right? Right. And it was flak that came through? It was flak, okay. right? Okay. And flak usually is very small pieces, well scattered. And uh, I knew we had been hit, meaning the plane. So I reached up to get my control for my speaker to the pilot. I was going to see what his situation was. And my arm didn't seem to reach up. This one was fine, but this one was Your right just, arm, your right arm. You're swinging your right arm. just hanging. Okay. I believe I did attempt to use my left hand and it wasn't effective, but I did notice something else. I was looking out for rain. Rain? Because my feet were slipping all over the floor. I could hardly stand up. My shoes were going on all directions. Well, it turns out that was blood. Your blood. That was my blood. What a revelation. <laughs> You've just listened to an audio clip from the Samuel Proctor Oral History Program's diverse collection of oral history interviews as part of our 50 Years, 50 Faces fundraising campaign. In the last 50 years since the program's founding in 1967, SPOP has collected over 7,000 interviews, as well as provided equitable fieldwork opportunities for students. To support our program's mission to document the voices of people from all walks of life, visit our donation page through the link in the description, or visit our website at oral.history.ufl.edu. That's oral.history.ufl.edu. SPOP. One community, many voices.